Howdy folks, <clears throat> it's 6.15 a.m. on Sunday, April 5. Um, I got up about 5.15 this morning, I think I was done. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you, I've got, you know, this is, this is the way those hard maple look. And you can see like here's a section I won't be able to use. Um, but the rest of it I would use and uh, I'll probably make like window trim because uh, that board's eight feet long but because the last 18 inches of it or so is not going to be usable I can use I can't use it for door door styles but I can use it for window trim <clears throat> over here as I've been this is my stack of uh Parts for the <coughs> jams. Uh, I think I've got uh, well, probably 25 boards that I made. But as I make them, <clears throat> you know, these are either some cutoffs or whatever. I don't throw that stuff away. I'll use, for instance, this stuff here. The shorter, shorter stuff. You know, I'll. Uh, probably make the uh, balusters for the staircase out of those and glue glue those together um, and there's some other boards there I wanted to show you yesterday I uh, last night it is I was uh, fiddling around with some of those other like these were all cutoffs here I see I'll take a big board and I'll cut different parts out of it. I was most recently cutting door jams. Um, but uh, what I plan on doing is like these here, I plan on making those into um, door trim. And I want to give you an idea of what I, what I do when I do that. So... I'll just pretend that this is, no, actually I'll take this one. This is a very skinny board. Um, it's only two and a quarter inches. So that's too small for, uh, for, you know, the, trim board that covers the door jam and the like but you remember on my uh, all of my cherry doors that we built I've got this little detail that goes around and I'm going to replicate that I'm going to build the parts for it and I'm going to show you what I came up with uh, this is, for instance, what I use on those doors. And so what I would do is, um, I gotta get this so that I can handle it. What I would do is I'm gonna put one of those on one edge and one on the other. And that's the way it would look. And then it's all good. All of my woodwork, other than the door itself, is going to all get painted, um, painted white. So these will be for, for instance, uh, this will be the style that we'll use for uh, the door, the door trim, and the window trim. And from here to here is three and a quarter inches which is what I normally use and do when I do my uh, door, door and window trim. So I think that'll what that'll do is it'll replicate what we have on the doors and it'll carry this edge banding theme all the way through. Now I've got to build that edge banding. Um, but just as all of this stuff here and over there, is some of the cutoffs that I have or will have. I'll make it, I'll make the edge banding 
out of that and I've been thinking about how I'm going to do that now these boards are as I get them from the mill uh, they're a shade over one and seven eighths and so what I've done is you see I've got this tool and I've got this tool, which they call feather boards. And what I do is I'll take this board, for instance, and I run it, and you see that feather board holds it tight against the fence. And I'll run it over that uh, saw blade. And that'll take me down to about one, about three quarters of an inch, and then I'll run it through the planer to fin uh, flat to smooth it all out um, so there's a fair amount of working on it but uh, you know I'll probably because I'm a scrounger be able to well, I got three hundred dollars into the hard maple and I still have probably another 25 boards out in the garage that I, that um, aren't, you know, that still have, that have some knots and the like. So I'll have to cut around different things. But I'll probably be able to do the, uh, make the trim for my doors like I had been showing you there. Um, I'll probably be able to do, do all of my doors for around... $300 and maybe half of the window treatment I'll be able to uh, get done with that same purchase that I had made uh, back in February. Um, so, you know, I'm not diverting my attention to this now, but I had to build jams and so these were left over. These were cutoffs and that's how I plan on using them. Uh, this has been glued up since Wednesday, I think. And I've just, uh, with doing, I wanted to get the jam material done so that Linda can uh, paint it. Um, but today I plan on, this is Sunday, I plan on taking off all the clamps on this, cleaning up the edges, and, uh, you know, putting aside my trim for now because I want to get started. I've got five more doors to glue together for the frames uh, and that will take me five days uh, you know a couple hours to glue it up glue up a frame and then <clears throat> then it has to sit for a day in the clamps so uh, that's where we're at right now um, so that's about it thanks for following our progress that was trim doors.